Hi, Mike Gibson here with Access Point, and we're talking about high sensitivity troponin. And you know what's interesting is it's a class one guideline indication, but only 33% of sites are using it. So I'm here with Steve McCarthy. Talk to us about this. Why are we not using more high sensitivity troponin? That's a great question. So in this study, we used the NCDR registry to look at trends in implementation of high sensitivity cardiac troponin since their approval by the FDA in 2017, 2018. And what we saw that uh, although trends were increasing, still the majority of hospitals are not using these assays over two thirds. Now, our study period ended at the third quarter 2021. The chest pain guideline was released just after, so it's possible that uptake may increase further. I think further to that is though, a lot of the data regarding high sensory cardiac troponin assays comes from international studies in Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and we haven't had a lot of data from the United States. Um, so that was the second goal of our study, other than to look at implementation to see how did it, um, how was it associated with clinical care. And what we found that was high sensitivity cardiac troponin was not associated with any change in mortality, but was associated with a small reduction of length of stay. We also found that it was associated with a small reduction in invasive coronary angiography and low risk chest pain patients. We did see an now that's interesting because yeah. some people have said, well, you know, if you're more sensitive, yeah. you're going to send more people to the cath lab, but what you're saying, it went down. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And I think that was maybe one of the main concerns why hospitals haven't mm -hmm. implemented because mm -hmm. they were concerned testing may increase. There was actually a survey on ACC.org in 2018 that said that 21% of cardiologists thought it would be detrimental to implement high sensitivity cardiac troponin. And I think these data will provide a lot of reassurance in terms of reduction in length of stay, reduction in invasive angiography in low-risk patients. Um, and so that will hopefully be beneficial to, to clinicians. And this is patients. why we do research. We get answers that we don't expect. So that high sensitivity troponin actually reduced length of stay, reduced invasive procedures. We'll see if people get on board with uh, your next look. Uh, thanks for joining us here today. See no you. problem. Thanks for having me, yes. Dr. Gibson. And thanks for joining us here at Access Points.